In other news, South Korea says it'll fully suspend the 2018 inter-Korean military agreement until mutual trust is restored, responding to North Korea's recent trash balloon campaign. Our Pei explains what the suspension means. In response to Pyongyang's sending of trash-carrying balloons, Seoul's National Security Council said it has decided to entirely suspend the 2018 Inter-Korean Tension Reduction Pact until mutual trust is restored between the South and the North. The NSC said on Monday that Seoul will now be able to hold military exercises along the military demarcation line that separates the two Koreas, allowing it to take immediate actions in the case of provocations from North Korea. North Korea on Sunday announced that it would stop sending trash balloons across the border, just hours after the South warned that it's ready to take unbearable measures, possibly resuming blasting anti-Pyongyang messages across the inter-Korean border. We are clearly warning North Korea once again not to engage in provocations such as balloon bombs filled with filth or GPS jamming. If such actions are repeated, we will ramp up our response. The North has said trash balloons were part of countermeasures against propaganda leaflets sent by anti-regime activists in South Korea. But an expert says the intention behind the North's move is because the regime feels its legitimacy is being questioned, after feeling belittled and marginalized following the 75 years of inter-Korean competition. Now, more specifically, the North is also trying to insult the South, South Koreans just before the uh, commencement of the Africa summit, but it stopped the balloon launches uh, before most of the leaders arrived. So I think it was a deliberate timing. Around 600 balloons carrying cigarette butts, waste paper and plastic bags were flown from North Korea over the weekend, on top of the around 260 balloons carrying waste and excrement sent earlier last week. This prompted the South Korean military to advise people to be aware of falling objects and not to touch objects suspected of being from North Korea, and asking people to report such items to the military or police instead. Damage from the balloons has been reported across the nation, including a windshield on a car parked in Gyeonggi-do province being completely destroyed. Pae Arirang News.